Previously on Solar Balls, the rocky planets are introduced to the rest of the solar system. Proto-Earth is rude to the planet Theia, but he eventually decides to look for her to apologize. Hey, son. My name's Thea. I wanted to... No! Oh, come on. He already knows who you are. Okay. <clears throat> hello, Mr. Sun. Uh, hello, Mr. Sun. Whoa! You're on fire today. Ugh, well, he appreciates sun buns. Okay, again. <clears throat> You scared me. Congrats! Now, can you please... Hey, hold on. I, I wasn't trying to... Yeah, right. Listen, I've already made up my mind that you're a narcissistic, egocentric, pedantic jerk. So just go back to your orbit far, far away from here. Well, that was rude. I know, but you were rude too. And for that, I... <clears throat> uh, I... Uh, I... Yes? I'm sorry, okay? Sorry. There, I said it. Hope you're happy. Bye-bye. Hey, come on. What? I mean, you were just gonna say that and go? Uh, yes? Listen, if you want to start fresh, maybe we should talk? I thought you had something going on. Well, tag along. If we're gonna spend the lifetime of a solar system together, we should settle stuff like this, right? <sighs> sure. Why not? I know I sound like a broken record, but I can't get over how big you guys are! Yeah, you're right. You do sound like a broken record. Oh, and what are those things? They look like us! Oh, those are moons. They are still forming, but yeah, some of them may be as big as you guys. Really? Can we have moons? No way! Have you seen our size? All I know is my moons were formed because I pulled a lot of material in one place through my immense gravity. And all of this happened very early on, so no moons for us? Well, never say never, Mars! You just said it twice. Uh, mates? Hey everyone, meet Uranus. Uranus? <laughs> Is his name really Uranus? Hey, don't, don't laugh. Well, you're laughing. Guys, stop it. Let's just hear what Uranus wants. <laughs> That's what Uranus <laughs> wants. <laughs> I just wanted to say hi and ask if you've seen Neptune. He's my friend, and I can't find him. Nope, haven't seen him. Oh, okay. Uh, good day, everyone. What's a uh, Neptune? Question. Um, why are we heading towards the sun? Remember how he told us he had big plans for us? Yeah. I know what that means. And you think the sun's just gonna tell you? Come on, don't be a baby. So we are back to insults now. I'm not. Listen, basically planet babies. I just don't think we should mess with things too much. Well, I'm not satisfied with that. Why not? Because there's more. I can feel it. There's something special about us. A purpose. A, a calling. I feel it deep in my core, Proto. I know you do too. Okay, tell me, how crazy do you think I am? Uh, from one to ten, I'd say a nine. Wow, so I get one whole point of benefit of the doubt? All right, fine. 9.5. <laughs> Jerk. Okay, okay, 9.25. I'll take it. Neptune? Hi, mate, it's me, Uranus. You missed the whole event. Neptune? Oh, uh, where are you? Here! Whoa! Hi, mate, it's been a while. What's it been? A few days? Or more like millions of years? No, oh, really? Oh, time flies. You tell me, mate. Anyways, how's your orbit? It's fine. Uh, I get to talk to Saturn every now and then, although he's often hanging out with Jupiter. But I'm making progress. Listen, are you sure you're okay? Me? <laughs> Perfect! The Kuiper Belt is this big frozen junkyard with all sorts of wonders! Here, look at this thing I found! Mate, that's a bloody rocky planet! You pulled it out of the belt? Yep! And hey, it came bundled with another planety thing! 
two for one. Hi, uh, what's your name? I'm Pluto. And I'm Sheriff. The planet's scary. Don't worry, I'll protect you if they're mean, Pluto. Thank you. You think they're a double planet? Or like she's his moon. Ah, space tomato, space tomato. Anyways, we have to tell the sun. He has to know there are rocky planets even past this point. Come on! No, uh, uh okay. Whew. Okay, son, you've done it. All the effort was worth it. Everyone has an orbit, everyone's starting to get along. Maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to- Hey, you. Theia! Ah, uh, this is not your orbit. Yeah, I know, but we just wanted to... No, you don't get it. There's a very specific area designated for you guys. If you get too close to me or too far, it won't work. What? It, nothing. It's something I want to discuss later with you. Maybe in one or two billion years. But... but... Son, here's the thing. I understand all the secretism, but if we're being realistic, I doubt most of the planets will keep their orbits without knowing full well why you want them to. But if I tell you, I... I don't know. It could create expectations or, or derail the whole thing. Or maybe nothing happens. Just get over yourself and... Proto, you don't have to carry all the weight alone. We're all here for you. The universe is a lonely place. I've spent millions of years with no one but myself and my own thoughts. And then I had you, my planets, but... but... There's something more, isn't there? I want the universe not to be so lonely. What I want is... life. Uh, life? Yes! Rocky planets have a way higher possibility to develop living organisms than any of the gassy ones! I... I don't know how to do it, though. The universe is so hostile and dead. But for some reason, I feel like I can... Make it work? Hey, everyone. Wow, it's so bloody hot over here. Uranus! Neptune! What are you doing so far away from your orbits? Well, we just wanted to introduce our new friends, Pluto and Sharon. Okay, this one is a bit scary. Yup. More rocky planets? Where? How? You have to tell me- Hold on, uh, son. What about, you know- Not now, Thea. Just go back to your orbit and do your thing. Okay, tell me everything. Huh, weird. Well, uh, I guess I- That was it. What I felt all along. What I wanted, it was life. <laughs>